Chapter 771, Kington. Kington, what are you doing here? Lin Dong's voice was currently filled with both shock and anger. Amongst these two emotions was a slight but unconcealable fear, the kind of fear that arose when things suddenly went out of one's control. This was the first time Ying Xiao Xiao and Ying Huan Huan had seen Lin Dong in such a state. Immediately, they involuntarily turned their gazes towards the exceptionally pretty girl in the air. The young girl was about Ying Huan Huan's age and wore black clothes. She had a slim figure and her features were rather pretty, while her beautiful eyes seemed to be filled with spirit, as if there was a talking fairy within them. From the looks of it, this was Kington, who had left in a different manner than Lin Dong after he had left the Great Yan Empire. Behind her, a man stood high up in the sky. The undulations from the latter were rather powerful and his face was covered by half a ghost mask, giving him a slightly eerie aura. This unique appearance was not unfamiliar to Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest. He was number one on the Eastern Xian region's wanted list, Ghost Mask Chen Gui. For them, he could be considered an extremely famous character. Currently, the two people in the sky had evidently become the focal point of this area. Of course, more gazes were directed towards Ghost Mask Chen Gui. After all, the reputation of the number one name on the sex wanted list was rather intimidating. In the air, the happy smile on Kington's face had clearly been scared away by Lin Dong. She hastily landed from the air and obediently stood before the latter, yet she did not dare to look at the Lin Dong's face. With her slightly bowed head, she looked just like an ignorant little girl who had been caught after secretly slipping out of the house. You, you. Lin Dong was somewhat dazed as he gazed at the young girl that stood before him. The face that was so familiar that it had practically been imprinted on his soul caused a strange feeling to gush out from the depths of his heart. For a time, all he could do was point at the young girl and mumble incoherently. Gui Chen had now also landed behind Kington. When he saw how obedient this junior sister disciple of his, that even his most stern master could do nothing about, had become, he was also somewhat taken aback. Soon after, he looked towards Lin Dong, whose expression was constantly fluctuating between anger and shock, wanting to say something but realized that it did not seem appropriate for him to speak. Hence, he could only continue on in this manner while standing behind Kington. What have you done? Why are you here? You've left home. Lin Dong possessed a certain resistance towards shock after all. Thus, after a long time, he finally regained some of his wits as his alarmed and furious voice boomed out like a cannon. Not really, Mum and Dad know that I've left, Kington tiny hands were entangled together as she replied. Why didn't you obediently stay in the Great Yan Empire, why does a girl like you have to run out into the world? Lin Dong angrily said. He was unable to imagine why an ignorant little girl would dare to enter a place like the eastern Xian region that was filled with danger. Did she not realize that if something happened, both him and their parents would be unable to bear it? When he thought about the worst that could have happened, even someone like Lin Dong felt a little suffocated. He knew that he would truly go insane if that scenario became reality. You could leave and go out into the world. Why can't I do the same? Kington raised her tiny face in an unfair manner, however, when she saw the fury that once again shrouded Lin Dong's forehead, she quickly pulled back as the little bit of courage that she had managed to gather instantly disappeared like smoke, I also want to protect mum, dad and the rest. I can also become strong. It must be so tiring for you to try so hard by yourself, I also want to be of help to you. I no longer want to be like before, where I can only powerlessly stand and watch." The young girl's words clearly stunned Lin Dong for a moment. He gazed at the tiny face of the young girl that was filled with grievance and could not help but reply in a somewhat vexed manner, why foolishly worry about such things? Though his tone was vexed, the fury on his forehead had started to fade a little. The young girl's words had stirred his emotions and made him feel a small bit of happiness. It seemed that the little girl from before had grown quite a bit. Kington's tiny mouth shrunk, however, the bright girl knew that now was not the time to contradict a Lin Dong that was about to explode with anger. Mum and Dad know that you've come here. 
Lin Dong needed his somewhat aching head as he asked. M.M. Kington repeatedly nodded her head. They've agreed. Lin Dong asked again. Upon hearing this, Kington hesitated for a moment. Just as she was about to nod her head, she saw Lin Dong's expression suddenly turn stern. Immediately, she hung her head in defeat as she replied, Mum does not agree, and we argued because of this. Just as the words left her mouth, Kington hastily shut her mouth. She looked at Lin Dong from the corner of her eyes and sure enough, she saw the face that had only just eased up a little once again darken. Now that your wings have hardened, you even dare to argue with your mother. Lin Dong laughed in a chilling manner. Kington lowered her head as she mumbled, Scold me if you must, but... As she spoke, the young girl's eyes turned red. Soon after, she lifted her head and gazed upon the face that had grown increasingly mature and determined compared to two years ago, as she choked out a few words. I missed you. The various expressions on Lin Dong's face finally froze due to these words. The young girl had followed in his footsteps and left the place where she could be as willful as she wanted, the home where she could make trouble as she pleased. All alone, she had similarly experienced various things. All of this was so that he no longer had to struggle in a manner that caused one's heart to ache. Lin Dong's throat trembled a little. Soon after, he slowly extended his hand and patted the young girl's head, his voice somewhat hoarse as he spoke, You've grown up at last. After which, he laughed bitterly before continuing, Sigh, forget it, I'll let you off this time. As his words fell, joy surfaced in the eyes of the young girl before him, as if she had suddenly been bestowed a great pardon. With a sweet smile, she reached out with her arms in an exceedingly natural manner and clung onto Lin Dong's arm like she had always done many years ago. When Kington clung onto Lin Dong's arm, a sly smile secretly appeared from the corners of her lips. However, just as this smile appeared, she sensed a bright pair of eyes staring at her. She lifted her head, only to find Ying Huan Huan, seated behind with her jade-like hands atop the dark green zither. The latter's gaze was currently tightly fixed onto Kington and had clearly discovered her sly smile. Kington secretly stuck out her tongue before winking at Ying Huan Huan. With those large eyes, she conveyed a message, don't expose what you know. Ying Huan Huan could not help but feel like laughing. Looks like this girl called Kington understood Lin Dong very well. She even know what method to use to pacify a Lin Dong who was almost about to explode with anger. However, Ying Huan Huan could also tell that Kington's emotions from before were genuine. Ying Huan Huan naturally did not plan on exposing Kington's sly actions. Hence, she winked at Kington and the two girls of similar age came to a certain consensus, perfectly concealed from the usually calm and prudent Lin Dong. Big Brother Lin Dong this is my senior brother disciple, Chen Gui. It's thanks to his escort that I was able to come out this time. Kington turned around and pointed at Chen Gui as she introduced him to Lin Dong with a smile. I am Lin Dong, many thanks to brother Chen, my sister has troubled you much. Lin Dong immediately clasped his hands together. His tone was extremely sincere and grateful. Ah, I do not deserve such praise. Brother Lin Dong is too courteous. I have only done as my master has instructed. Upon seeing this, Chen Gui hastily clasped in hands together in response, causing Ying Xiao Xiao, Wang Yan, and the rest to be a little taken aback. After all, Chen Gui was said to be an extremely eccentric and indifferent person, someone who would not be so easy to communicate with. Master? You've entered a sect? What sect is it? Lin Dong was a little taken aback. He quickly looked towards Kington and inquired. From the looks of it, he was afraid that Kington had entered a dubious sect. He he, our sect is not located in the eastern Xian region, but in the northern Xian region. Our sect is known as the Palace of Darkness, has brother Lin Dong heard of it before? Chen Gui promptly explained. Palace of Darkness. Amazement flitted across Lin Dong's eyes while he felt some shock in his heart. It was clear that he was not unfamiliar with this faction. Palace of Darkness, the overlord of the northern Xian region. 
if one were to talk about its reputation, it did not lose out to a titan like the Yuan Gate at all. How did you end up in the northern Xian region? Lin Dong was evidently rather stunned by the fact that Kington had joined the Palace of Darkness. While I was in the Great Yan Empire, an elder from the Palace of Darkness was following me in hopes that I would join the Palace of Darkness, Kington replied. Oh. Lin Dong slightly raised his eyebrows. He did not expect that Kington had already been taken notice of by the Palace of Darkness elder at that time, both he and Little Martin had not sensed anything. However, Lin Dong gently sighed in relief knowing that Kington had joined the Palace of Darkness. The Palace of Darkness could be considered an overlord of a region. Kington should be quite safe with them. These are my fellow Dao sect disciples. Lin Dong turned around and shrugged his shoulders at Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest as he chuckled, This is my sister, Kington. After completing his introductions, he gently patted his hands as he once again cast his gaze in the direction of the Yuan Gate disciples and grinned, his smile regaining its chilling aura. Kington, move back a little, I have to first take care of a small problem. Chapter 772, Challenge The eyes of the entire place had gathered towards the area where Dao sect was. Clearly, a slight change that had suddenly occurred caused the current situation to change slightly. Although everyone were uncertain why that Chen Gui would intervene and help Dao sect, the situation was undoubtedly one where Dao sect had gained an extremely powerful helper. Faced with the rank number on the sect's wanted list, it was likely that even little Yuan King Yuan Kang, would feel a little restraining fear. It is unexpected that even Chen Gui has appeared, Ling King Zhu's eyes gazed into the distance. A slight fluctuation flashed across her eyes as she softly muttered. Who is that girl called Kington? Wu Kun asked in a somewhat surprised manner. From the looks of the situation, the girl in black seemed to have quite a deep relationship with Lin Dong. Chen Gui seemed to have intervened and aid Dao sect because of her. She seems to be big brother Lin Dong's younger sister. I have heard them mention it in the past. Su Ruo looked at Kington, who was extremely close with Lin Dong. Envy flashed deep within her eyes as she spoke. So it's like that, Wu Kun nodded slightly. Immediately, his eyes looked towards the direction of Yuan Gate. He said, although they have the help of Chen Gui, there is still some gap between the strength of Dao sect and Yuan Gate. This matter is becoming increasingly complicated. Lin Dong slowly stepped forward in front of the eyes from the entire place. After which, he looked towards the direction of Yuan Gate. A chilling light flowed within his eyes. This area does not exclusively belong to your Yuan Gate. Whether my Dao sect disciples wish to remain here is not something that your Yuan Gate can decide. The eyes of little Yuan King Yuan King narrowed. A glint flashed through them like the edge of a blade. His finger gently slipped down the iron sword in his hand as he spoke in an apathetic manner. Don't tell me that you have the courage to provoke my Yuan Gate just because you have gained a helper. What helper? If your Yuan Gate wishes to fight, I will accompany you. Lin Dong spoke in a free and easy manner. What an arrogant tone. Someone like you actually dares to act arrogantly in front of us? Do you really think that you are almighty just because you have relied on a clever little trick to win once? Lei Qian's eyes were dark and stern as he sneered. Won't you know whether it is a clever little trick or not if you try again? Lin Dong smilingly said. Lei Qian's eyes became stern when he heard this provocation by Lin Dong. A murderous aura rose within his body. However, he was much more cautious this time around. His eyes immediately looked towards little Yuan King Yuan King. Yuan King narrowed his eyes and stared at Lin Dong. After which, he laughed faintly. Since someone wishes to seek his own humiliation, you should fulfill his wish Lei Qian. A ferocious smile immediately emerged on Lei Qian's face when he heard this. Both of his fists slowly tightened as he strided forward and cried out, Lin Dong, since your Dao sect refuses to leave, I shall give you an opportunity. Rely on your own strength and step forward to battle me. If you win, my Yuan Gate will not say any other unnecessary words. If you lose, 
you shall bring everyone from your Dao sect and swiftly get lost from this place. Do you dare to accept? Lei Qian's voice rumbled across the basin while being wrapped by his powerful Yuan power. It reverberated beside the ears of everyone present. After his experience from the previous time, Lei Qian had clearly become much smarter. He no longer restricted himself with his words. Moreover, he had directly specified a direct head-on fight. Additionally, he even had added rely on your own strength. In this way, Lin Dong would be unable to use the demon corpse. Humph, the demon corpse is also controlled by Lin Dong, why is it not considered his strength? Your skin is really thick. Ying Xiao Xiao immediately laughed coldly when she heard these words. Stop uttering nonsense. If you are unwilling, we engage in an all-out battle and see just who will emerge victorious in the end. Lei Qian smiled in a venomous manner. You. Ying Xiao Xiao felt fury in her heart when she saw how shameless Lei Qian had become. Before she could say anything however, Lin Dong waved his hand gently and slowly stepped forward. Swoosh. The eyes from the entire place were immediately locked onto Lin Dong's body when he stepped out. From the looks of it, Lin Dong was actually really planning on accepting this challenge from Lei Qian. Lin Dong. There was a slight change on the faces of Ying Xiao Xiao and Wang Yan. Lin Dong might have forced Lei Qian to withdraw in a dejected manner the last time around, but he had only won through a trick. This time around, Lei Qian, who was going to go all out, and would obviously not give Lin Dong such an opportunity. If Lin Dong was to take the initiative and give up the advantage of the demon corpse, how would he battle Lei Qian? Let me fight instead. A voice suddenly sounded behind Lin Dong when he stepped forward. After which, everyone was stunned to see Kington step forward. At this moment, her hand was holding a black scythe with a somewhat exaggerated appearance. That scythe was even larger than her entire body. Strange symbols were vaguely visible on the blade, while an unusually dark and cold sharp ripple spread out it. The girl in black was holding the large black scythe in her hand. That appearance was quite comical and cute. Ying Xiao Xiao and the rest were stunned as they stared at Kington. After which, their eyes paused on the black scythe in her hand. They could vaguely sense a majestic ripple from the scythe. Evidently, this black scythe was a pure Yuan treasure. Lin Dong was also momentarily startled when Kington spoke. Immediately, he knitted his brows and spoke in a deep voice, Go and stay in one corner. Although he could sense that the current Kington was no longer that little girl, who had become very weak after being tortured by the cold chi, he was still unwilling to see her step forward to fight with others while he was around. Oh! Kington, who was originally acting in a mighty manner, was directly beaten down by these words of Lin Dong. She could only pull back bitterly. Lin Dong, will it be all right? Ying Xiao Xiao hesitated and asked. Their Dao sect indeed hoped that they would not have to engage in a big battle with Yuan Gate here. However, if Lin Dong had to take such a risk, it might be better for them to truly engage in an all-out fight with the other party. Lin Dong shook his head slightly. After which, he slowly stepped forward. Those somewhat cold eyes were directly locked onto the ferociously smilingly Lei Qian in the distance. His voice was clam. I shall receive this challenge. A series of uproars suddenly sounded out in the basin after these words were heard. Clearly, everyone did not expect that Lin Dong would actually dare to directly abandon the advantage of the demon corpse and accept this challenge from Lei Qian head on. Such an action is truly not wise, Wu Kun from Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace had a surprised look on his face as he muttered. There will no longer be any fooling around like last time. Lei Qian will not give him even the slightest opportunity. This, he is seeking his own humiliation. He is not a fool. If he does not have the confidence, he will not easily accept the fight. Ling Qingzua shook her head slowly. Her clear eyes looked towards the skinny figure that was walking out from amongst the Dao sect disciples while she softly said. Oh. Wu Kun declined to comment when he heard Ling Qingzua's words. Together with the demon corpse, Lin Dong might still have a chance against Lei Qian. 
However, on the precondition of not being able to use the demon corpse, Wu Kun was unable to think of what qualifications Lin Dong had to fight with Lei Qian. Ha ha, you have guts. The ferocious smile on Lei Qian's face immediately grew wider when he saw that Lin Dong actually dared to face him in battle. Moreover, there was a abnormally wild joy dancing within his eyes. His lost in unique devil city had undoubtedly caused fury to rise within his heart. Now, he finally had the opportunity to personally get back his face. Although he had suffered a little at Lin Dong's hands due to his somewhat strange skill, Lei Qian had the confidence that he would definitely be able to cause Lin Dong to be unable to even retaliate should he go all out. This was his confidence as one of the three little kings of Yuan Gate. This time around, he wanted to completely crush Lin Dong under his feet in front of everyone. Chapter 773 Intense Battle Against Lei Qian Two figures slowly stepped out in front of the countless number of eyes within the enormous bright red handprint basin. Majestic Yuan power swept out at almost simultaneously, causing the atmosphere to suddenly become extremely tense. Crack! Lei Qian's tightly clenched fists emitted cracking sounds. Soon after, bright silver Yuan power spluttered out from within his body like lightning. It wrapped around his entire body as an unusually wild and violent ripple was scattered from it. Brat, this time around, I will let you understand the true gap that exists between us. Lei Qian raised his head and looked towards the nearby Lin Dong. His face was filled with a ferocious smile. Lin Dong's expression was calm, while green light surged on his body. Immediately, both his hands and legs began to shake and transform into green dragon limbs. Moreover, a pair of green wings began to extend from his back. It transformed into dragon wings and spread apart immediately. Green dragon scales surfaced on Lin Dong's body. The scales sparkled under the sunlight, while an icy cold and sharp luster was reflected. The dragon fist was slowly clenched. Lin Dong's eyes became increasingly cold as he sensed the majestic beast-like strength. This physical body-enhancing martial art seems to be quite good. However, I wonder just how punches of mine it can endure. Lei Qian's mouth parted into a sneer. In the next instant, the ferocity on his face abruptly intensified as his foot suddenly took a step forward. Bang! Thunder rumbled the moment Lei Qian's foot landed on the ground. After which, everyone saw Lei Qian's body seemingly teleport. In a flash, a bolt of lightning had already tore through the sky. The lightning glow rapidly expanded within Lin Dong's eyes. Lei Qian's speed had already reached an astonishing level. Swoosh! The green dragon wings on Lin Dong's back suddenly flapped. An afterimage remained on the original spot while his body swiftly withdrew. Boom! Lin Dong's body had just pulled back when the lightning glow suddenly arrived. A fist containing wild and violent strength shattered the afterimage with a punch. TCH, you are quite quick in fleeing. However, can you really escape? The corners of Lei Qian's mouth involuntarily curled when his punch missed. Immediately, he bent two of his fingers and directly pointed them towards the direction in which Lin Dong had withdrawn. Lightning light space tearing finger. A lightning like silver Yuan power light beam suddenly shot out from the tips of Lei Qian's fingers, booming as it tore through the air. In a flash, it had already caught up with the swiftly retreating Lin Dong. Moreover, it had directly targeted the fatal spot on his throat. Clearly, Lei Qian did not have any intention of showing mercy in his attack. Desolate Demon Eye A demonic grey eye swiftly appeared between Lin Dong's brows. After which, grey light that contained a powerful destructive force shot out and collided with the silver beam of light. Bang! A deep noise resounded in the air as a wild and violent fluctuation swept apart. The two attacks had actually annihilated each other. I will just see how many times you can block me. Lei Qian did not become angry when he saw that his attack was broken. Instead, he smiled in a sinister manner. His strength far surpassed that of Lin Dong. If they were to compare the extent of their Yuan power, he would be able to exhaust the latter to death many times over. 
This kind of Yuan power consumption was naturally something that he was most happy to see. After Lei Qian's cold laughter sounded, one could see that the lightning glow around him had suddenly condensed. After which, it transformed into a lightning hand. This lightning hand's fingers were curled. In the next instant, it thrust at the air. Lightning rain explosive finger. Swoosh swoosh swoosh. Wild and violent light beams seemingly filled the sky. They contained a shockingly lethal strength that swept over the sky under the watching gazes of countless shocked eyes. The scope of this attack had directly covered all of Lin Dong's retreat paths. This attack could be considered ferocious. Lei Qian's reputation of being the Little Thunder King was indeed not in vain. Just this attack alone would cause many Nine Yuan Nirvana stage experts to have a change in expression. Lin Ding lifted his head. His eyes were grim as he watched the torrential rain of lightning that came sweeping over the sky. He could sense extreme danger from this attack. Who? A cluster of white air was slowly exhaled from Lin Dong's mouth. Immediately, an extremely thick green light surged out of his eyes. Roar! Majestic green light suddenly swept out from Lin Dong's body at that instant. The green light lingered around his body before beginning to agglomerate together. A moment later, a low and deep dragon roar suddenly sounded out. A hundred feet large green dragon light figure suddenly appeared at this moment, while a powerful pressure spread across the sky. In that instant, it appeared as though a genuine giant dragon had descended. Green Heaven materialized dragon skill, green dragon descent. As Lin Dong's proficiency in the Green Heaven materialized dragon skill gradually increased, his understanding of this martial art had also gradually deepened. He was now already able to rely on the heavenly dragon aura within his body to agglomerate a green dragon. Moreover, this green dragon undoubtedly possessed a greater divinity compared to the past. Its might was ferocious and unfathomable. The green dragon swam in the sky above Lin Dong's head. After which, it swung its large light tail violently. Space itself appeared to have become distorted at this moment. The lightning rain that was pouring down from all over the sky immediately blasted apart with a bang wherever the light tail passed. They were just like brilliant fireworks. Bang! The green dragon light tail swept out in an unreasonable manner and forcefully exploded the lightning rain. After which, its strength was not the least bit weakened as it directly slammed downwards at Lei Qian. Humph! Lei Qian's expression had clearly changed slightly at this moment. However, he did not pull back but instead coldly snorted. Resplendent lightning surged out, causing his hair to completely stand on ends. After which, he clenched his fist as it furiously blasted out. Lightning Dragon Sky Roaring Punch a similar ferocious and uncontrolled dragon roar was emitted from within Lei Qian's body. After which, majestic lightning gathered and actually transformed into an enormous lightning dragon. Bang! The lightning dragon's roar rumbled across the sky. It carried a wild and violent strength as it directly collided with the green dragon in front of watching crowd's eyes. At that instant, they appeared like two colliding meteorites. Their momentum was earth-shaking. A wild Yuan power storm swept across the sky in a crazy fashion. The scale of the collision caused the expressions of many people to change drastically. Bang bang! A storm unfurled in the sky. Two figures revealed miserable appearances as they shot backwards in the sky. Each of them drew a hundred meter long line in the sky before they forcibly stabilized their bodies. Countless eyes instantly looked over. A low clamor sounded when they saw the miserable appearances of the two individuals. However, most of them were shocked that Lin Dong was able to fight with Lei Qian to such an extent. After all, regardless of how ferocious his martial arts were, Lei Qian was an expert at the half a foot to mysterious life stage. It was common sense that the strength between the Yuan power of the two should be akin to the distance between heaven and earth. He does have some ability. Wu Kun from Nine Heavens Supreme Purity Palace had a surprised expression flashing across his eyes when he saw this scene. He rubbed his nose and spoke a little bitterly. He had originally believed that Lin Dong was only seeking his own humiliation by provoking the other party. However, 
from the looks of the current situation, this fellow's actual battle power had far exceeded his exterior strength. Big Brother Lin Dong is still so formidable. Su Ruo spoke in an excited manner. The degree of worship in her eyes was still increasing. It is still too early to be happy now. Ling Qingzu shook her head at this moment. A pair of clear eyes were locked onto Lei Qian's figure in the distant sky, while a glimpse of a solemn expression flashed across her eyes. Bang bang! Dark clouds had begun to gather in the sky. After which, everyone felt the Yuan power around them vaguely show traces of becoming berserk. Bolts of lightning suddenly whizzed down from the dark clouds in the sky. In an instant, the entire place had turned into a world of thunder. Lei Qian was suspended in the lightning-filled sky. His somewhat dark face contained a sternness that caused one's heart to beat faster. Soon after, he slowly extended his hand under the many watching gazes, and thunderbolts gathered around his body. At that moment, it appeared as though a lightning god had descended. Next, I shall let you witness my Yuan Gate's supreme martial arts. You can call yourself blessed to be killed by this. Lei Qian's voice was just like a muffled thunder. It contained a monstrous murderous intent that rumbled like thunder. In the next instant, his hand had suddenly formed a mysterious seal. This is... Ying Xioxio's group watched the seal formed by Lei Qian's hands. Their pupils immediately constricted as a grave voice suddenly echoed. One of the three great divine codes of Yuan Gate. Lightning God Codex Chapter 774, Lightning God Codex Rumble Countless thunderbolts came pouring down from the dark clouds in the sky from every direction. The deafening roar reverberated over the entire basin. It appeared as though the land itself had begun to tremble slightly at this moment. Lei Qian's figure stood amidst the thunderbolts that permeated the sky while lightning flowed around his body. Along with the silver glow that spread over his entire body, he appeared just like a lightning god when viewed from a great distance. Lightning God Codex Numerous exclamations continued to appear while lightning thundered across the sky. It was likely that people had recognized this extremely well-known and powerful martial arts of Yuan Gate. He has actually been forced to use the Lightning God Codex. Looks like that brat really has some ability. Little Spirit King Ling Zhen watched the scene in the sky and could not help but smile in surprise as he spoke. Lin Dong seems to have cultivated both Yuan power and mental energy at the same time. Otherwise, with his seven Yuan Nirvana stage strength, he would not be able to pester Lei Qian to such an extent. Yuan King replied indifferently. However, that will end here. Ling Zhen slightly smiled and nodded. Lin Dong's ability to pester Lei Qian to such an extent had indeed greatly exceeded their expectations. However, in the face of Lei Qian, who had now used the Lightning God Codex, he did not think that Lin Dong would have the ability to continue dragging out this battle. Victory or defeat would likely be determined in the next exchange. It is likely that Dao Sect will act more obediently if we cripple this brat. What we need to do now is to observe the Burning Sky Ancient Stash. We do not have the time to get entangled with them. We will properly settle the score with them once the matter here is settled. Ling Zhen spoke with a smile. His smile was enchanting, but there was a dark ruthlessness surging deep within his eyes. Yuan King smiled indifferently and did not say anything else. Both of his hands were placed behind him as his eyes looked towards the skinny figure amidst the lightning that permeated the sky. An unconcerned arc was lifted from the corners of his mouth. Bang! Following the change in the obscure seals formed by Lei Qian's hands, the dark clouds in the sky swiftly began to wiggle. Immediately, it gradually turned into a funnel-shaped dark cloud. Countless lightning bolts gathered at the tip of the dark cloud. Its brightness was unusually glaring. The ferocious smile on Lei Qian's face became increasingly white under the glow of the lightning that covered the sky. He suddenly clenched his hand and the lightning at the tip of the dark cloud suddenly spluttered out wildly. Boom! Light poured down like a thunderbolt and gathered above Lei Qian's head. Finally, the light agglomerated and formed an enormous thousand feet long lightning spear. 
The lightning spear was saturated with lightning which continuously danced across its surface. Wave after wave of shockingly destructive power frantically spluttered outwards. Distortions had even started to appear in the surrounding space. What berserk fluctuations, the expressions of Ying Huan Huan's group were grave as they watched the enormous lightning spear taking shape in the sky. Anxiety surged within their eyes. Ying Xioxio's jade-like hands, which were on the zither strings, had similarly tensed up at this moment, while her pearly white teeth bit into her lips. There seemed to be an icy blue luster vaguely surging deep within her eyes. However, even she did not notice this scene. Lei Qian has become much stronger compared to before, Chen Gui stared at the sky. He hesitated for a moment, before looking towards Kington beside him as he asked, Do I need to intervene? He could see that Lin Dong's strength seemed to be at the Seven Yuan Nirvana stage. At the same time, he also sensed quite a powerful mental energy ripple. It was likely that Lin Dong possessed rather great accomplishments in both areas. However, there was still quite a big gap between him and Lei Qian. At this moment, the latter had already activated his trump card. Lin Dong's situation was not good at all. There's no need. However, Kington merely smiled sweetly and shook her head in response to his good intentions. She raised her head as the light from the lightning in the sky was reflected on her unusually beautiful face. There appeared to be a fanatical expression vaguely present on it. Brother Lin Dong will not lose. The young lady merely smiled as she uttered these words. Her black dress and enormous black scythe gave her a strange yet bewitching appearance. Chen Gui was momentarily startled. Soon after, he nodded quietly. It was the first time that he had seen such an expression on Kington during all these years. The young lady before him would not reveal such an expression even in front of his most respected master. Lightning God Codex Hui Lin Dong's figure appeared just like a small boat in the vast ocean amidst that wild and violent thunderbolts that permeated the sky. It appeared as though he would capsize at any moment. His eyes stared at a ferociously smiling Lei Qian in the distance, who was raising his hand high above his body. Lin Dong could sense an extremely dangerous fluctuation from the enormous lightning spear. Since you wish to go all out, let me accompany you, Lin Dong muttered to himself. Soon after, he slowly extended both of his hands in front countless watching gazes. Next, an unusually obscure light array began to slowly take shape in his palm. Lin Dong's eyes focused slightly when the light array was formed. Majestic Yuan power and mental energy began pour in like a flood. Swoosh! That originally palm-sized light array suddenly began to expand at a shocking speed as the energies were poured in. In a short couple of breaths, it had already expanded to a couple hundred feet in size. From a distance, this light array slowly rotated as it stood in front of Lin Dong while a ripple that could not be described quietly spread out from it. What is this? Lin Dong's actions had clearly been captured by countless eyes. Surprise surfaced in everyone's eyes when they saw the slowly rotating light array appear in front of them. An unorthodox skill. Nothing more than futile effort. Lei Qian was also startled because of this. Immediately, the ferocious smile on his face became even denser. From the looks of it, it seemed that Lin Dong was actually planning on receiving his attack head-on. This was undoubtedly seeking death from his point of view. Since you wish to die, I shall fulfill your wish. The enormous lightning spear above Lei Qian's head was already complete. Bright lightning flickered wildly on it, while wave after wave of astonishing fluctuations continued to sweep apart. Lei Qian's hand reached forward. After which, he clenched it abruptly. Everyone watched as the enormous lightning spear slowly shifted. In the end, it had directly locked onto the faraway Lin Dong. Lightning God Codex, World Extinguishing Spear A thunderous roar suddenly emerged from Lei Qian's throat as the green veins on his hand pulsed like dragons. In the next moment, his arm trembled. His body leaned forward slightly and his arm swung out furiously. Bang! The entire place appeared to tremble violently at this moment. Immediately, 
everyone watched as the enormous lightning spear transformed into a thousand feet large lightning bolt. It violently shot out. The glow from the attack reached out, appearing just like a world extinguishing lightning dragon that was brandishing its claws. Such a sight was truly dreadful. Who? A frightening pressure seemed to have covered the area a thousand feet around Lindong in an instant, while the latter released a deep breath. Immediately, his eyes became stern as his hand slammed onto the large light array in front of him at lightning speed. Ancient Universe Formation, Reverse Rotation A resonating voice was transmitted from Lindong's mouth. In the next moment, the enormous light array began to wildly rotate in the reverse direction as strange lights frantically began to gather within the light array. Disintegrate Lindong's eyes were cold. Two of his fingers thrust forward and landed on the light array. Immediately, the entire light array trembled. A strange light beam that was dozens of feet in size emitted a swoosh sound as it surged out of the light array. Sizzle sizzle. That light beam did not possess an overly astonishing aura. However, some extremely sharp individuals could feel all the natural Yuan power that was originally present suddenly disappeared in a strange manner after the light beam passed by. Such a disappearance was extremely thorough, as if it had been, completely annihilated. The usually indifferent expression of little Yuan King Yuan King changed drastically at this moment. Bang! When Yuan King's expression experienced a drastic change, the two ferocious attacks in the sky that had attracted the attention of countless pairs of eyes, had already arrived before each other and finally collided. Countless people watched this scene in fear. Victory and defeat would be determined in this exchange. Chapter 775, Might of the Reverse Rotation The two terrifying beams of light finally violently collided in an extremely glaring manner in front countless pairs of eyes. Chi. The expected earth-shaking loud noise did not appear when the collision occurred. The majestic light beams interweaved with each other in a glaring fashion and were crazily eroding the other party. A soul-stirring ferocity was felt from it amidst the silence. All eyes were staring intently at the two majestic lights that occupied two halves of the sky. They were clearly aware that this exchange would determine the victor of the fight between those two individuals. Boss, what is it? Little Spirit King Ling Zhen suddenly discovered the changes in Yuan Kang's expression. He was immediately startled and involuntarily asked. Something is not quite right with the attack from that brat, Yuan King stared intently at the light beam that had shot out from the light array. His voice contained a slight trace of grimness. Although he was unable to sense just where this uncomfortable feeling of his had come from, his instincts told him that this light array of Lin Dong was definitely not something ordinary. Ling Zhen's heart jumped because of Yuan Kang's expression. Immediately, he laughed. Don't tell me that you think the attack of that fellow is really able to block Lei Qian's Lightning God Codex. Yuan Kang's expression was slightly dark but he did reply. Impossible, Ling Zhen's eyes also narrowed when he saw such a response. His muttering voice contained a trace of shock. Lei Qian's attack is weakening, Yuan Qing spoke in a grim voice. Ling Zhen hurriedly raised his head when he heard this and his expression abruptly changed. He was also able to sense that the originally extremely wild and violent lightning in the sky had quietly lost some of its might at this moment. On the other hand, the ray of light from Lin Dong remained tepid. An aura that could not be shaken was being emitted from that lukewarmness. How is this possible? Ling Zhen's eyes had finally began to gradually turn grim at this instant. These words also sounded within Lei Qian's heart when they emerged from Ling Zhen's mouth. The weakening of his attack was naturally something that he had sensed first. Immediately, an expression of disbelief drew past his ferocious-looking face. Impossible. This expression had merely appeared on Lei Qian's face for a moment before it was being replaced by a more ferocious one than before. He did not believe that the Lightning God Codex that he had displayed with his current strength would actually be received by Lin Dong, who was only at the Seven Yuan Nirvana stage. Bang! Vast and mighty Yuan power whistled out from Lei Qian's body without holding back. After which, it turned into monstrous lightning that wildly poured into the struggling lightning in an attempt to destroy Lin Dong's resistance. 
However, regardless of how much power he poured in, the mysterious light beam from the light array, continued to remain unwavering. Wave after wave of berserk energies began to be separated and annihilated at an astonishing rate, while the light beam was eroding by the lightning. Lin Dong's face had remained calm and without any ripple since the beginning. It appeared as though the scene in front of him was not strange. However, paleness had also flashed across his face while the light beam forcefully broke through the other party's attack. The might of the ancient universe formation was indeed frightening. However, the Yuan power and mental energy it consumed had also reached quite a terrifying level. Lin Dong deeply inhaled a mouthful of somewhat searing hot air. In the next moment, an extremely serious expression suddenly shot out from both of his eyes. The seals formed by his hands changed at lightning speed as a deep voice echoed from his throat. Break! After this word escaped Lin Dong's mouth, the mysterious light beam, which was originally devouring the other party's attack at a gentle and steady pace, suddenly unleashed a shocking offensive. Faced with the light beam that had suddenly become wild and violent, the lightning that permeated the sky began to rapidly collapse at a rate visible to the naked eye. Swoosh! The strange light beam penetrated the lightning that permeated the sky by crushing it with complete ease. In the end, it ruthlessly smashed towards the shocked Lei Qian in front of countless shaken eyes. Lei Qian has lost. Ling King Zhu, who had been observing the battle in the sky, finally commented softly at this moment, as the face under her veil twitched slightly. It was likely that even someone as calm and indifferent as her had difficulty retaining her complete calmness when watching this scene. Joy surfaced on Su Ruo's face. She smiled brilliantly and said, I knew that big brother Lin Dong will not lose. By the side, Wu Kun rubbed his face. Immediately, a somewhat unnatural smile was lifted on his face, through which he hid the shock within his eyes. If he had not witnessed it with his own eyes, he would have great difficulty believing that Lin Dong was truly able to emerge victorious in a direct battle against an expert of Lei Qian's level. This time, it was definitely not a victory using tricks like previously. Lei Qian had already unleashed a trump card like the Lightning God Codex. Yet, the result. Bang! The mysterious light beam tore through the lightning-filled sky. Finally, it bolted towards Lei Qian at lightning speed in front of those countless stunned eyes. The moment the collision occurred, everyone could clearly see the lightning Yuan power on Lei Qian's body vanish at a shocking speed. Bang! A deep and deafening sound resounded across the sky. Lei Qian's expression immediately became pale as a mouthful of fresh blood was spat out wildly. His body also became like a bird with broken wings as it began its swift descent towards the ground. Lin Dong's eyes were cold as he watched Lei Qian falling to the ground. A cold glint suddenly flashed across his eyes. The green dragon wings on his back flapped violently as his body rushed out amidst the exclamations that permeated the sky. In a flash, he had appeared in front of Lei Qian. His fist was clenched and a black tree trunk had appeared within it. After which, he ruthlessly swung it down. Bang! The black tree trunk contained a frightening force. It smashed heavily onto Lei Qian's body. Strength poured out and the sound of breaking bones could be heard from Lei Qian's chest. Ugh! Another mouthful of fresh blood was spat out uncontrollably. Lei Qian's eyes were somewhat horrified as they looked at the young man's face at close proximity. At this moment, the malevolence that filled this face was even more intense than his own. Moreover, he had genuinely seen the existence of a murderous intent within Lin Dong's eyes. Lin Dong wanted to kill him. This thought caused a chill to suddenly surge through Lei Qian's heart. Lin Dong's ruthlessness had exceeded his expectation. The malicious smile on Lin Dong's somewhat pale face grew even wider as he looked at Lei Qian's terrified face. He had never show mercy when fighting with others. He was clearly aware of the enmity that Yuan Gate had towards them during their journey here. This kind of enmity could not be resolved. Therefore, he was certain that Yuan Gate would definitely attack them in the end. Since this was the case, he should take this opportunity and break one of his opponent's hands. He should kill Little Thunder King Lei Qian now before planning what to do next. 
the killing intent within Lin Dong's eyes surged. After which, he raised the black tree trunk in his hand again and violently swung it down at Lei Jian's head. Brat, you dare! However, when Lin Dong was planning to beat this already fallen foe, a stern voice suddenly resounded across the sky. Little Yuan King Yuan King moved his body and directly rushed over. Senior Brother Chen Gui In the distance, a cold look surfaced on Kington's pretty face when she saw that Yuan King was about to intervene. Swoosh! Before her voice could fade, Chen Gui had already rushed out at lightning speed. In the end, he appeared in front of Yuan King and blocked him. Swoosh swoosh! Ling Zhen's expression also changed after Yuan King was stopped. He waved his hand and rushed out. The six soul generals of Yuan Gate as well as some of the more powerful disciples also followed his lead and whizzed out. Attack! Ying Xiao Xiao, who had been watching the Yuan Gate party, did not hesitate when she saw this scene. A cry sounded out and she directly darted forward. Wang Yan, Ying Huan Huan, Ching Ye and the rest behind her immediately followed. The bright red heavenly phoenix Zither had once again appeared in Ying Huan Huan's hands. Clearly, they were prepared to engage in an all-out war. The elites from both sides had moved. Upon seeing this, the eyes of the disciples from both parties suddenly became ferocious too as waves of mighty Yuan power began to erupt in the sky. Within this short instant, the atmosphere of the entire area had become unusually tense. A chaotic battle was about to erupt.